Hey guys, I am Vika and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about my latest PC build for Unity game development. Before my new build, I was using Core i5 second generation PC with 8GB of RAM and GT710 VGA and it was built exactly 10 years ago in 2012. So Unity was working without any issue for 2D projects but when it comes to 3D projects, Unity got stuck in my PC. So I decided to go for a new PC build in 2022 after 10 years from my first PC. So without further ado, let's get started. Before that, I want to remind one thing, if you are an absolute beginner to Unity Game Engine, I have prepared a tutorial series. You can check out that tutorial series from this card and I hope it will helpful for you. So let's get started. So first thing first, let me talk about the processor first. So I choose Ryzen 5 series processor which is Ryzen 5 5600X processor which has 6 cores and 12 threads. As it mentioned, uh, it has 4.6 GHz of max boost and 3.7 GHz of base speed. In addition, the most important part, it has 35 MB of cache. So this processor is extremely powerful for uh, Unity game development and uh, since I am making videos, it comes in handy package. After selecting the processor, we need to mount it on somewhere. So we need a motherboard. So I took this MSI D550 board as my motherboard. So this doesn't have Wi-Fi because I am using wi a separate Wi-Fi adapter. And this is compatible with uh, Ryzen 5 series processors and uh, exactly it mentioned that it also support uh, Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 3rd generation desktop processors but not compatible with AMD Ryzen 5 3400G and AMD Ryzen 3 3200G processors. So uh, this is my motherboard and this is a real nice motherboard and it has uh, lighting effects uh, like, uh, like here. So uh, there's a light here and uh, this is really nice uh, motherboard. Uh, please uh, mention your ideas on this motherboard because uh, one of my friends said that uh, this uh, MSI brand is not uh, much good and uh, I also need to uh, know your uh, input as well. So let's move forward. When it comes to programming and developing stuff, RAM plays a huge role. So I decided to go for 16GB of RAM. So I decided to take this RAM kit from Corsair uh, which comes uh, two sticks of 8GB of RAM. So using this RAM kit I can handle multiple Unity windows and other several applications at the same time without any big issue. So now let's move on to the storage. So as my boot drive I took 256 GB NVMe drive which is from AdLink and this has 2000 megabytes per second of read speed and 1200 megabytes per second of write, write speed. So uh, this PC build can turn on within 10 seconds uh, and I took another 2 terabyte of hard drive for my storage uh, requirements. So let's move on to the VGA, one of the most important part we all know that in 2022 world is facing for uh, vga shortages because less materials for uh, semiconductor in industry so uh, i had to uh, go for uh, gtx 1050 uh, vga from uh, asus uh, this is not the ideal um, uh, option for this bill but i had to take this because uh, at that moment in my country which is Sri Lanka uh, there are no any other uh, VGS like uh, RTX VGS uh, but uh, this is this was fine uh, but uh, I hope to my upgrade my P uh, PC with uh, latest RTX uh, 3060 or uh, some some kind of VGA when when the stocks are available so for now I am using GTX 1050 Ti VGA so up to now we have covered all the parts but we haven't powered up our PC yet. So we need the power supply. So I took 
uh, this power supply uh, which uh, which is uh, 650 watt uh, uh, power supply uh, you you may think this is uh, overpowered uh, power supply no because i am going to upgrade my pc for uh, rtx 3060 or uh, rtx 3060 ti vga so we need uh, some kind of uh, big uh, power supply so i uh, kept the room for uh, another uh, vg expansion without changing the uh, power supply so i decided to go for uh, quite uh, overpowered power supply in this case because i'm going to upgrade my pc for uh, another uh, vga so uh, let's move on to the uh, cooling cooling is one of the most uh, important uh, feature uh, as a cooling this ryzen uh, processor has its uh, inbuilt cooling system uh, so i'll uh, show it to you uh, this comes in nice box uh, this has a good cooling system but uh, oh this has very nice uh, cooling fan with a uh, good heat sink but uh, we decided to uh, go for aftermarket uh, cooling system so what so we took this uh, Corsair uh, cooling system uh, liquid cooling system so this has one fan and one uh, condenser so this is since this is a liquid cooling uh, my PC works uh, without any uh, overheating issues and works very smoothly. So uh, this is my uh, cooling system. So finally, I need to talk about my uh, casing. So I took this casing, uh, Fentec uh, casing. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see or not. Uh, this is quite big and quite heavy. Uh, PC casing uh, and uh, since it, since it has more room, uh, it has to cool uh, cool my uh, whole system and uh, by default it uh, it comes three uh, RGB fans so uh, and it has plenty of room and so it works really fine. So let's uh, move on to quick quick short, short video of my PC setup and some pictures. So that's it for the today's video and if you enjoyed the video please thumbs up and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and to get my notifications please consider to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as well. So see you soon in the next video and until then have a nice day.